Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, we're going to work through a few nuclear decay problems. In the first problem, what we have is uranium-238 is going to give off an alpha particle. When it gives off an alpha particle, a new nucleus is going to be formed. And the question is, what is the new nucleus? Alright, so we're looking at something that has a mass number of 238 particles in the nucleus. 92 of those 238 are going to be protons. An alpha particle is going to be released. And as you recall, an alpha particle is two protons and two neutrons. Though that is what's released from the nucleus. And I'm asking you the question here, what is the new, more stable nucleus after this nuclear change has taken place? So obviously uranium-238 is radioactive, it's unstable. Because it's radioactive and unstable, it's going to release an alpha particle. So let's check this out. I'm just kind of using this side over here this side right here, to guide your thoughts. All right? I want to organize your thoughts here when you look at this problem so you don't get overwhelmed. Uh, what I began with here was 92 protons. All right? That's my atomic number, so it's 92 protons. The mass number was 238. That's simply the number of protons and neutrons in the nucleus. And the original element is uranium. Now I'm going to say, you're losing from the nucleus two protons and two neutrons. So, two protons, if you have lost them, the nucleus now has two less protons. The nucleus has 90 protons. The mass number is the number of protons and the neutrons. And originally, let's go over here guys, you had 238. But you lost two protons and two neutrons, so your new nucleus is going to be four particles smaller. Or 234 is your new mass number. And which element is this? We'll look up element number 90 on the periodic table, and element 90 is thorium. And so the new element is this. It's 234 over 90 thorium. I just want to show you a different way to express this as well. Often scientists will use equations to express what's happening in, uh, in science. And in this case, like the chemist, the nuclear chemist, nuclear physicist, will use what's known as a nuclear equation. Now what they do, they start off writing the given. The given that was given for you today was 238 over 92 uranium. And that's going to undergo a change. And we show change here in chemistry as an arrow. It kind of means it yields, it produces, it makes, it changes to. Well in this case it's going to change to a new element. And in the process of doing so, it will fire off a 4 over 2 He. That's my alpha particle. We call four, four uh, as my mass number, two protons, two neutrons, and that's two protons. So that's my alpha particle. And the question, I guess, is how do I determine what the new nucleus is, the new atom that's going to be made? And I just kind of say this, guys. This is a math problem. 238 equals 4 plus, you got it, 234. Well, my 90 on this side equals 2. I'm sorry, guys, my 92 on this side equals 2 plus 90. And 90 on the periodic table, that's the only bit of work you have to do is look it up. It's the element thorium. So in this case, we're looking at a radioactive decay of uranium-238, and it's going to decay and change into a more stable form, an element 234 over 90 thorium. In this example, we're looking at is 14 over 6 carbon, and it's going to give off a beta particle. And I'm going to ask, what is the new nucleus? So because it's giving off a beta particle, we're making an assumption that the atom is radioactive and it's unstable. And it's going to become more unstable by releasing a beta particle. Now, beta radiation, in case you forgot, you know, let's go back to it. It's when a neutron changes into a proton. So we're looking at a nuclear change where a neutron changes into a proton, and in this case, fires off a high-speed electron. So in this example here, what is the original element? Well, the original element is carbon. Okay, which element? Is it? it's, it's carbon. The mass number is the top number, 14, and the number of protons it has is 6. Now, as you just saw, a beta particle is nothing more than a neutron changing into a proton, but it's also going to include an electron. So what you're looking at here is that you're increasing the number of protons. You've changed a neutron to a proton, so by changing a neutron to a proton, I go from six protons to seven. The mass number does not change, it stays at 14. All you've done is changed one of the neutrons to a proton. So in this case, what I have is seven protons now, and I can write it over here, 
I now have seven neutrons as well. And seven plus seven gives me 14. Element number seven on the periodic table, so we're talking about 14 is the mass, 17 is the atomic number, element number 17 is nitrogen. Now let's check this out. Let's write the nuclear equation for this reaction happening. The nuclear reaction is going to start off with the given. 14 over 6 carbon. It's going to undergo a change. It's going to produce, make, form, yield. Well, it's going to give off a beta particle. You already know that. And a beta particle for us has the symbol 0, negative 1, E. So the question the scientists want to know is, what is the new element that's formed? Well, I know you know that it's nitrogen. I know you know that. But let's go about the nuclear equation way. Okay, you've already seen, I've used this um, arrow sign as kind of an equal sign. Well, 14 is the mass number equals 0 plus 14. So when a beta particle is given off, there is no change in the mass of a nucleus. That's what it means. All right, here we go, guys. 6 equals negative 1 plus a, a 7. That's right, 7 plus a negative 1 equals 6. And we identify 7 on the periodic table as the element nitrogen. So a way we can express all that we've expressed in this slide is by doing a nuclear equation. It's almost like an easier shortcut way to taking this information and going over here. Recall though, please, one of the key things here is that a beta particle is a 0, negative 1, E. Another scenario is that 14 over 6 carbon, which is a radioactive form of carbon, and often used in half-life dating of, you know, L of uh, things in the recent past, the last 5,000, 10,000 years, we can use carbon half-life dating. Um, the original element, as we said before, was carbon. I'll just write that in both places there to be redundant. The number of protons, we said, was 6, and the mass number was 14. All right, we've been there, done that. Now, the question is, when gamma radiation is given off, gamma is given off, what is the new nucleus? Now, in beta, we saw that we had a change. In alpha, we saw that we had a change. But as you recall, in gamma radiation, there is no mass and no charge on that particle given off. And so there's no mass on it. All it is is extra energy that's being released. Well, let's go back here then and write that in. The new, new, new element is actually the same element. It doesn't change. It stays as carbon. The number of protons still is 6. And the mass number is 14. And we still have 14 over 6 carbon. It just happens that a little bit of energy was released. And the nuclear strong force has a better grip now on the nucleus now that that gamma radiation or gamma energy has been released. All right, guys. Um, I can follow, finish this off, honestly, with one simple uh, nuclear equation. And I would simply put down 14 over 6 carbon is going to yield 14 over 6 carbon plus 0, 0 gamma. And that's the way I would conclude this lesson here today. All right, guys, you have an example of each of the different kinds of the most common forms of nuclear decay, of nuclear radiation. All right, help those helpful dudes. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you later.